Hey everybody, it's your girl Pinky. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we want to do a shopping haul and a book review. Um, I'm trying to build my library back up. Um, so I've gotten several books. Uh, two of them came from the Dollar Tree and the other three that I want to show today came from a uh, thrift store. But before we get started, if this is your first time here, welcome to the YouTube channel. If you're not a part of the family yet, you have not joined us by hitting that button and ringing that bell, go ahead on and walk your fingers over there, hit that button and ring that bell so you'll be notified next time we upload a video on this channel. It is absolutely free, just costs you about two seconds. Uh, also want to ask you that you would leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know your name, where you're logging in from around this great big old world that we call home, and, and share the video so let's jump right on into this first thing we like to do is give a scripture so we can always start our videos off on a good spiritual note okay so i want to read psalm 61 and 4 out of this book called jesus calling uh 365 devotions for kids i actually bought this one for the baby uh she can't read yet so i have to read it for her uh this one says uh I long to dwell in your tent forever and take refuge in the shelter of your wings. That's Psalm 61 and 4. And this is by Sarah Young. I don't know if, you, if you're familiar with her, but she has wrote several books uh, in the Jesus Calling title. And I just so happen to have seen this one at a thrift store. And I think it was either a dollar or a dollar ninety-nine uh, with devotions 365 devotions for kids. So I got this for the baby. Also, I found, and I don't know if they was all in the same thrift store or not, but this is the NIV study Bible for kids called the New Adventure Bible. So I got this one for her. This one actually <laughs> belonged to somebody named Stacy, and she got her phone number in here, but Stacy is probably about over 30 years old because this was given to her in 1995 by her mother and father so we look forward to jumping into this bible with the baby as she grow older but in the meantime and in between time i'm gonna be up in this book okay um and third i got this life of miracles uh by bill johnson for $1.99 so you can experience a life of miracles day after day it's sort of like a guide to have like bible studies and devotional like something like this just a sample page so got that i want to say yeah it was a dollar 99 and then i got this book the self-care cookbook by Gemma oxton now i googled her she lived in barcelona spain or somewhere like that this is a self-care cookbook healing easy healing plant-based recipes and i'm constantly looking for ways to cook plant-based style uh for healthy living i, I started this journey of plant-based living about june 2022 when i got sick um i had to do something drastic to get my body back in check i have lost 40 pounds wasn't expecting to lose that much but when you do the plant-based lifestyle, uh, you're putting life back into your life uh, by making little bitty changes on how and what you eat. And what I like about this book, this book came from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. She actually has three different versions of this book. Not exactly the same. I just saw them online, um, but it's not the same, but it's still called the Self-Care Cookbooks. Um, what I liked about this book, it says rest well, sleep well. It has recipes on DIY. This one here is a sleep oil, how to create a calming sleep environment. How many of y'all go to bed and just can't go to sleep? You just go there and you staring in the dark. Um, yeah. One thing I just saw in this book, I'm looking at ramen noodles in a whole different light. Look at these called mindful ramen. She got look like shallots, onions, carrots, tofu, spinach. I don't even I, I can barely see the ramen noodles, but that looked like a whole vibe right there of a meal. I will be trying that this week. And then this jackfruit taco. Have a jackfruit taco. If you don't know about jackfruit, 
Woo! Get you some jackfruit. Jackfruit can either be meat or it can be sweet. Uh, I found out about jackfruit when I made my journey to Los Angeles two years ago on this quest to get healthy. And I was that desperate that I drove to Los Angeles to meet this one woman who she was not there, but I got a chance to go in her restaurant. Uh, her name is Chef Babette. If you Google her, Chef Babette in um, Los Angeles, the area of Los Angeles, she's 70 something years old and looks 40 because of eating like this. Uh, this is the jackfruit taco party. Uh, she made tacos out of jackfruit. Hana, if you ain't never had nothing good, try jackfruit. Uh, it, it looks like a big cactus watermelon, but they do sell it in cans. And they, I think they have it in the freezer section. You have to go like to them oriental stores to find it. Um, I find it at the, Gi the Giant 99 store, which is going out of business. So I would get that from there, but now I got to figure out where to get it from now. But this is her book, a lot of good recipes and a DIYs and all that. Then this book is Sweet Paul, Eat and Make Charming Recipes and Kitchen Crafts You Will Love. Dollar Tree. This book was $1.25. And first thing I saw when I opened this book up was this. This going to go in a picture frame. Okay. And uh, the last thing I saw in here was this one. Going to put that in the picture frame. And they have different recipes in here. His is not so much as vegan, but he has a lot of DIYs. Like, isn't this just like so cute? For your kitchen called a utensil hanger you get a hanger put some beads on it and hang your utensils i will be trying that one okay this one here is a morning tart with broccoli goat cheese and smoked salmon anybody like salmon something for breakfast because um let me tell y'all i cooked in the military anywhere from 700 to a thousand people's air day uh had a big family cooked Every day. When the nest got empty, I quit cooking. Okay. I would I would cook to survive. Uh, so when I would cook, I would cook enough for three or four days. And then I was eating out the other days. And uh when little miss came and little miss got to the to the age where she wanted to eat some food, I had to learn how to cook again. And so uh, now I'm just looking for recipes that will because she's very finicky. Uh, to soothe her little palate so she but what she does is like this is a piece of food she'll take it if she don't want it like girl you drop one more biscuit on that flow one more green bean one more french fry on that flow i mean she just look at it and drop it but um we still looking for stuff for her because like i said i had stopped cooking for the last I say 10 years, I, I cook just because the, the apartment had a stove in there. Or I cook because somebody said they was coming. Um, but this one here is fish tacos with salsa and red cabbage. Ooh, child. I done got some ideas tonight. I don't know if you can see that. And I know about fish tacos. I just ain't been cooking. Uh, this one here is a Masterpiece Coaster, a DIY. And it started off as um, a canvas artwork that you would hang on your wall. And he said, just take a glass, the top part of the glass, lay it down on the part that you want, cut around it, and it becomes your coaster. Look how cute that is. So, the, yeah, this was a good find at the Dollar Tree. Dollar 25. Now, I normally won't look at the book, so I did have one more book. This one also came from Dollar Tree called Bowls Made Simple. And as you can see, there are several books that you can get from the Dollar Tree. And they're just that thin. But this one here is Bowls. They got a vegan one. I got that in there on top of the refrigerator. They got soup, pasta, keto, chicken, cooking for kids. I didn't, we don't have that one. Cooking for kids. One for pies. I don't need that one. Then there's vegetables. Um, but what I saw, ramen noodles is on the night. 
ramen noodles with tofu and spinach. Now, I typically, when I would make ramen noodles, would throw in vegetables, um, a piece of sausage before I transition away from the meat, which, you know, I'm not completely off meat, uh, but I may eat it once or twice a week. Um, not the red meat, but I would throw everything in ramen noodles that I could find, but I never thought to put spinach in there. So that is my, I guess my book haul. That's the book haul. Now, also, as always, we go shopping just about every other day, if not every day, me and the baby. That's my therapy. Uh, sometimes I'll walk around the store. Load the bat well the stroller because everything goes up under her stroller. I can't push a stroller and a basket, so I put everything up under her stroller and walk around the store with it, and then walk around again and empty it. Or most times, like today, I bring the stuff home. But what I went today for was I wanted to work on outside uh, my patio set for outside, and it's so cute. Uh, so while we was there, I went to Five Below and found some things. That's gonna have to be another video because. It's dark outside, and this is Texas, and the snakes have woke up. So I don't want to go outside and surprise the snake, and the snake surprised me. So we have to do that video in daytime. But I want to show you this haul I got. Uh, basically, um, Burlington and Five Below for me and the baby on today. Uh, this right here is a little glass that I got, and this is pink. This right here is pink. It's a... Uh, I got two of these glasses from Goodwill the other day, and I just thought it was so cute, but y'all know why I got that, right? I bought this glass because it had pink on it. Yeah. So it's really, really nice. It, it feels good in the hand. It's heavy. So I bought that, two of them. They had two of them, so I got both of them. And today, because uh, the apartment that I'm in now, uh, in the bedrooms, there's no light in the ceiling. Uh, so I saw this at the ceiling light. You can mount it to the ceiling, or it says you can hang it on the side of the wall somewhere. It has a magnetic uh, backing. It's motion and light sensor, so when you walk by, it comes on. I found two of them. The other one's a little square one uh, with a surge protector, and you can sit your phone in the little holder up on top of it, and it has plugs on the side. Oh, there is some Dollar Tree stuff in here, but I ain't going to Dollar Tree today. But, um... This, I found at Five Below for the baby. This little mug with a little straw on the inside. Then, Burlington, I had walked past this thing like three times, and I said, you know what, let me go back and get it. It's a gown or shirt, a Juicy Couture. It's that soft velvet. Ooh, <laughs> feels so good. This feels so good. Um, this is the other light that's in the room with her now. You really can't see it because I cut it, but, um, it's made like this. It has the two on the side on each side and it has the USB on both sides and it's a surge protector and it has a little pocket up on the top of it where you can sit your phone, you know, at nighttime when you, when you're charging. And what do you do when you stressed out? My thing, and I was talking to the cashier at, at Burlington with these bags, and um, because yeah, I got some bags, and then there's another one coming in the mail. Um, I said, I wish I'd have had this one in pink. I said, but since it's black, I got pink embellishments to put on it. And she's like, Yeah, I collect a lot of purses too. I said, I bet you, I bet I got you beat. And she did not cut this thing off. The alarm didn't go off, she didn't cut that off. Hmm. But anywho, I said, I bet I got you beat when it comes to purses. She said, well, I got a few. I said, I got over 200 just purses. I said, I don't wear the heels and all that stuff, so I just mostly wear tennis shoes. And I said, I collect the purses. Now, this is a London fog. And I keep the papers now. I finally learned to keep the papers, so when I'm not using the purse, I can just stick it back in there, and uh, it'll kind of keep the shape some kind of way. But this is a London fog backpack. This is the strap. This is the bag. That's how thin it is. Has a zipper that goes all the way across. Has a little clip right here. You can clip your keys or something to it. 
uh, the strap. I guess if you're going to wear it like a backpack, you would crisscross these. So from there to over here, you can wear it as a sling backpack or however. Can't do that with one hand. Can't do it with two hands. So you can wear it across uh, your back like such. Has the outside pocket right here. Uh, go imprint London Fog. This is my first time buying London Fog. I've been eyeing them for a few months. It has two pockets right here on the inside for your phones or pens or whatever. And then it has the zipper pocket right here. It goes pretty deep. It has a little hook right here. I don't know where to go to. Oh, yes it is. They hook across. So if you don't zip it, which I always zip because I'm a stickler with zips. So this will go all the way across like such. And I think that's it on the inside. Yep. London Fog. Under $20 Burlington. And then I was super, super stressed. I found this sweet baby. Y'all remember my black juicy, right? I'm still looking for a pink one like it. So this is like a pink beige, pink and beige with the white lettering in juicy. Uh, it does have a pocket on the back that goes all the way across with a snap on the inside, juicy lettering on the inside in black. And the inside has the pocket pocket right there and then the two pockets up here two pockets on this side as well so yeah we got us another tote a pink tote in juicy and it zips all the way across not as cute as the back one the black one that i got uh last month but it's gonna do because it's a tote then at Dollar Tree, I think the other day I went to Dollar Tree because y'all know Dollar Tree prices are going up. Our Giant 99 is going out of business. I did not hit them uh, anytime today or yesterday, but I probably will tomorrow now that I got that book with the recipes and go get me some jackfruit because they sell it at the Dollar Giant 99 for $2.99 a can. And a can lasts me about a week. I did find me some hair color because I... Uh, I'm, I'm just going to go back blonde. Um, two fans, because a sister is what? Meant no pals. Butterflies. It's like a little soft pink. It look, It's a Mother's Day thing. They had them out for Mother's Day. And this one says, let all that you do. Let all that you do. You can read it either way. Let all that you do be done in love. 1 Corinthians 16, 14. So that'll make me cute at church, huh? I ain't gonna be too hot. I can fan myself. And I have like already 10 different fans in 10 different colors. And of course, I was looking for some more um, collagen products, aging products, because I am what? 62 aging gracefully with a toddler starting all over again. I need somebody to pray for me because little girl, she finding her voice. She, she, she finds her voice and she, she lets you know. If she was awake right now, you would hear her because typical child, when I'm on the phone, when I'm doing anything on the phone, she lets me know she's here. So this is a global beauty care firming cleansing cloths with collagen, vitamins A, C, and E. And I got it because it was pink. And then I had these once before and I gave them away to, I think, my sister. Then I gave some away tonight to my daughter. Uh, revitalizing. This is comparable to the Olay Regenerous. Y'all have seen that commercial. Uh, $1.25 cream cleanser. Parabum and for lactate free. Good for, um, you know, aging. But if you want to age gracefully, something like this with some collagen in it for $1.25. Uh, yeah. And not only that, but they had the day and the night cream compare with Olay Regenerous night cream recovery or daytime hydrating moisturizer. 
So you got night and day. Cleanse, night or day. Um, with aging, and you know, y'all know this stuff is expensive in the stores, like the big name stores. If you go to the mall and look for the aging products, something like this will cost you thirty dollars. Something like this will probably run about sixty-eight. It's expensive, but not at the Dollar Tree. So this stuff had been flying off the shelves, but um, these flew in the bag. I had six of these, four, two of these each. For me and my daughter, well, actually for me, but since she came over and she is also aging, she took some with her. Uh, I got me some fingernail polish. I typically wear uh, pink and white, but I got the blue because something I read somewhere said when you put blue on it, it reminds you of the ocean. And uh, since I haven't been on a cruise lately, this looks like when you get out in the deep blue where the water is that blue. So I plan on putting that on. Probably should put it on tonight before I go to bed. And then I got me some Carmex, another Carmex. And that is the end of this shopping haul and book haul. Um, I hope you saw something that intrigued your interest. Um, go to the thrift stores and look at the books. Uh, they do have some really good books uh, that you can get uh, without having to pay full price for a book. Uh, this is just a a sample of the few books that I have. I have gotten some more recently from a antique place. Uh, one little bitty one that I paid $10 for said the sayings of Jesus. Um, then there was another one about decorating. That's a table book. Uh, so it's been several books. But anywho, if this is your first time here, welcome to the channel again. Don't forget to hit that button, ring that bell, so you'll be notified next time we upload something over here because I'm always showing something cute. I, I just find cute stuff. I I need to stop. I need to stop finding stuff. Can somebody say stop finding stuff? Um, but like I said, it's therapy for me. Because typically what I do, after I've looked at it for so long, I just give stuff away. Uh, I have six bins in the room. You know, the plastic bins. That's full of wallets. Uh, and I was looking at wallets because they had a wallet to match that Juicy Couture. I said, um... I got Juicy Couture wallet, still got price tags on them. So I think I can make that do it. If it match, it match. If not, not. I got some pink ones in there, some future color ones in there. Uh, we're going to make it do what it needs to do. Got black in there. I need to see if I got a white one. I know I got a little white juicy uh, purse that will fit in that whole bag. But anyway, we're going to do a what's in my bag video. Uh, if not tomorrow, then the next day. But until then, I want you to be blessed. Okay, um, I want you to give a thumbs up, share the video, leave a comment, hit the button, then ring the bell. Okay, honey, hon, hon, tag is free. It's not complicated. Just, just hit the button, ring the bell, so you can be notified next time we upload a video over here on this channel. Okay, until then, have a good night.